New details on the horrible gator attack that killed a two-year-old at Disney World in June. The boy's father fought to pry his son from the gator's grip. This is what the shoreline of Disney's Grand Floridian Resort looks like today. A newly built fence and rocky shoreline separate visitors from any alligators that may be lurking in the water. On the night Lane Graves was attacked, the two-year-old was standing along the water's edge building sandcastles. He was using a bucket to get water from the Seven Seas Lagoon and pouring it on the sand. A Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission report states, the victim's small size and position bent down at the time of the attack would appear to the alligator similar to many of its normal food sources. The child's father, who was standing nearby, immediately tried to rescue his son. Matt Graves put his hands in the alligator's mouth and tried to pull it open, states the report. The alligator thrashed and broke Matt's grasp and went under the water. In the days after the attack, FWC captured three large alligators capable of killing a child, each about seven to eight feet long. But the agency now acknowledges that DNA and bite comparison tests were inconclusive. While we cannot say with absolute certainty that the subject animal has been taken, it is very likely that one of the two females captured close to the attack location was the offending animal. The report says after a 16-hour search, Lane's body was found not far from where the alligator grabbed him. The family says it does not hold Disney legally responsible for their son's tragic death.